Welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing with this server and that storage box. Um, in my last video, technical video, well the robot video was also technical, but in the last video on the Synology box up here, I configured iSCSI to, uh, to go to um, well, kind of that server uh, just below view here and um, that's running VMware and someone very correctly pointed out that well I'm actually doing a video series on Proxmox so I'm trying to get into Proxmox so I should really configure iSCSI for Proxmox which is that server and um, yeah I should do that as far as I've found VMware and Proxmox don't really have the same file system types so um, I am probably not going to be able to do the thing where I where I make an iSCSI lawn and then throw a VM from VMware on there and take it over into Proxmox. I could probably do that with NFS, but I will probably not be able to do it with iSCSI. But I do want to set up an iSCSI a lawn uh, and a target to my Proxmox server down here. And as someone else also pointed out to have multiple servers access the same iSCSI LON cluster aware file system which means that well one one server can go in and edit a file and another one is not going to be able to do it at the same time because then it will go mm, cluster fuck uh, which is really bad but well a cluster aware file system you need to put on there for that to work well enough but um, Today we are going to make a really easy video where we just go into the computer and we uh, configure um, a new iSCSI lawn up here and we connect to it from Proxmox. So um, to the computer. Okay, here we are the computer and just look how cozy this is. That's, that's working. So uh, yeah, let's jump to my computer here. Uh, this is the Synology RS1219 Plus um, and last time we uh, we made a um, disk area for this uh, let's check that I made a disk area here do, 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 do. there we made a volume one it's two terabytes and out of that two terabytes I used one terabyte for a iSCSI uh, target for the VMware so let's go and check that. Um, I haven't used any storage on it yet. I've just created it. So let's up here and we get iSCSI manager there. And I have one target and one lawn. So to get this uh, up and running, we need another lawn. Um, so we're gonna go, we can see the one that we already have. That's my playhouse iSCSI lawn one. So we're going to create one more. Um, I think it would be easier if one of them was called something with VMware and the other one was called something with Proxmox. So we might just have to add that. I'm not sure if that's possible. Let's see. Edit. Can we give it another name? Uh, we'll call it VMware instead. VMware 01. Yes, I'll borrow that and OK. Uh, I don't care. Go, go. Hope nothing crashes. But let's then create the next one. Create. And we will put in that name again here. And we will call that Proxmox instead. Proxmox01. Check. And the location is going to be volume 1. And. Uh, Capacity in gigabytes. Yes, we're gonna give that 1024 and that's also gonna be thin provisioning with space replay thing here uh, Which means that it will be able to shrink in size as well as grow in size. So next and Yes, yes, okay. Um, yeah, now it wants us to create a new target. So Last time I kind of said that this was like building a bunker and now we are digging the tunnel to it. 
which tunnel is the servers gonna be using to get to this bunker. Uh, we have, I don't know how I came up with that, but yeah, we are here. We are creating a tunnel to it. So we are gonna create a target and we're gonna call that about the same thing there. And we are still not gonna be enabling password protection. I'll do that later if I need it. Summary, next, apply. We're good. So now we have two. One of them is using two gigabytes and this one is using zero gigabytes. So let's, um, it's created. So let's jump to Proxmox. And um, that's very easy because I've already opened it. I was testing on this yesterday, I guess. And you can kind of see that I have an ice gossy thingy here. And I was trying to connect to that VMware share and it says absolutely nothing here. And if I go into a virtual machine and try to, um, to kind of add a hard drive there, let's say we wanted to, uh, to have a new disk and use that storage, that one, Oh, we didn't see that. There is zero bytes and zero bytes capacity. So it's definitely not seeing that VMware file system on there. So that's a no-go. So I am gonna cancel, jump out of that. And we're gonna go to storage up here in data storage. And I'll see if I can remove this again. There is a big fat remove button. I wonder if that works. You are about to remove. Yes. Oh, that was fairly easy, I must admit. And so we're gonna create ourselves a new one. Um, and we are up under the data center tab here. So what we do is we uh, select add. Oh, and we are in storage here. And we get a lot of choices here. We can do all kind of good stuff. It has a um, ZFS over iSCSI. Yeah, that's interesting. I think we should just make it ice gossy. I am not sure how that works. So let's not mess with stuff we don't know. So ice gossy. And um, here we get to give it a name. Let's just, um, this one is still in memory. So my playhouse Proxmox. Uh, the idea is just what's the storage going to be called inside of Proxmox. The next portal here, that's the IP number or maybe also the host name, I'm not sure, to the storage server, which in this case is the Synology NAS. And that's 121. And that's the 10 gigabit connection to the Synology NAS. So that should be all good. And when we have punched that in, we will be able to see the two. Um, this is really smart with the name and the IP number. Oh, that, this is just some random stuff that we came up with. And then when we punch in the IP number, it will go check if there is any iSCSI targets on there. And it finds those. So right now I have a target one and target. That's really stupid though. It would be really smart if there was like uh, names that I could use for anything here. One of them is called one, one, one. So I think we'll have to go back here and see what we, oh target and that one and it's called one one it is called 11.90 route picking that one so we can apparently tell it which uh, nodes should be able to use this that would be very cool if this was like a, a boot drive um, maybe we didn't want all the servers to boot from the same so we can hear it decide which Proxboxy host was supposed to be seeing this uh, but we're gonna make no restrictions so it's gonna be available for all of them add yesterday it came up with an error yeah timeout okay um but i found that it, it popped up anyway so let's just try and close that and refresh Refresh five might do the trick, and nothing is there. Hmm, extraordinary. But even though it's not here, if we go back to our 
uh, Synology box, we can see that we have a um, connection from one, well, 190, and that is my Proxmox. So it has connected, at least right now. Let's let's close this and try start it again. Maybe it refreshes targets. Both of them are connected. There is another thing that I want to configure because right now this is only available to connect to one host and I want it to be able to connect to more hosts so we're gonna go action and edit and we are gonna go advanced and we are gonna allow this one and this is the the line that someone pointed out in the comments of the last video to make sure to use a cluster aware file system and that's probably right network binding it's we need to bind it with that network right there. Cool. That's the 10 gigabit network card. It could also go out the 1 gigabit uh, network card, which is right there. Let's go and see if Proxmox um, admits that it has uh, gotten a new iSCSI drive by now. <laughs> and it does. Um, what can I say? This kind of works better in VMware. But as this is a brand new iSCSI drive, and we haven't put a file system on it yet so we would need to put a file system on this so this is where we run into a little bit of a problem because um, so i want to put a cluster enabled file system on my iSCSI drive and these are kind of the the options that i have available i have lvm which is a local volume manager um that's more or less ext4 that it will put on there nfs well that's a shared that's a shared folder somewhere else sif kind of the same don't know that one and there is zfs but if we look at a list of uh, shared disk file systems here kind of cluster file systems and zfs is not on the list uh, it's just not there there is the file system for VMware, which I did in the last video, so that's all good. Um, but there's no ZFS. Um, this is Wikipedia. So I found that actually ZFS has been upgraded, and it's recently that it's now able to do cluster file system with ZFS. So I think the safest thing is to put that on here. I should probably go and upgrade my uh, my Proxmox server to the latest and greatest before I do this, but we're gonna skip that step. Um, I do not recommend it, um, but if we go over here and I wanna add a ZFS drive here, we get an ID, we can call it something, and then ZFS pool, um, we only have this big store which is made out of ZFS. So I don't think we can do that right now. So what we have is more or less we can, we can create a symbol volume and therefore that's what we're gonna do. So let's go back here and um, fix this so that I don't screw it up. So we're gonna edit our, our target here and go back here and tell it that it's now not going to be able to support multiple iSCSI initiators so that we don't um, do anything stupid. So there, that is configured. And then let's go back here and add a symbol volume. We just LVM up here to create the symbol volume. We just pick LVM up here and here we can, we can give it a name. There we get a volume called that and here we can select our Proxmox volume, base volume is, okay, we'll pick that, volume group, and let's see if this does the trick, instead of numbers, just some text. I also kind of have an ability to share the volume that I'm creating here, so maybe now this will be shared more out throughout the Proxmox environment which is at the moment just one server. So let's try and add this. And we get a big fat something does not allow. Okay, let's try and remove 
props. That, that worked. Yes, it's created LVM type 1024 GB. Awesome. So, can I take my little virtual machine here and, and give it a drive on that? So, add hard drive. And we could give it one of those. Put it on put it on that one. It seems like that would work. Yeah. 32 GB. That's gonna work fine. Go. Cool. Nice. So with our newly drive uh, added to the virtual server back here, which is the server 2016. Uh, and I found it in here, which is kind of difficult because this server has like it has the rake controller. Uh, mounted to it and it has 30 drives uh, at the moment. It should have over 50, but well, we are having issues there. But it has this 32 gigabyte drive down here that we just added. So I thought, why don't we try to copy something? Open that drive and I didn't have anything on this machine. So I went and I found some Linux um, distribution that took up a lot of space. Seven gigabytes 7.2 gigabytes doesn't matter we just need the file size so let's copy that over disk image file so it shouldn't be able to compress anything let's copy and see what speed we get um 90 80 70 80 this is running on the one gigabit ethernet connection so we shouldn't be able to get more than a 110 that should be max so but it's a little bit up and down here but it's not too bad um i believe i saw better speeds on vmware but we are getting close to 100 here so yeah okay we got that up and running and um, doesn't seem like we have as good options at the moment I'm sure that Proxmox is gonna be improving and well if I updated Proxmox there might be a new feature for making that ZFS file system over the iSCSI there was the option to connect to a ZFS uh, storage over iSCSI but I was not able to create it or I just couldn't figure out how to if you are way smarter than me do leave it in the comments below I learn a lot from the comments below and so should you if you have a good question or a good answer to some of the things you see here well leave it in the comments below I read all of it don't make it too long just keep it short and sweet and to the point that's very time consuming so thank you very much for watching my videos do remember to give this video a like so that it ranks higher on the big interweb and do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye